This workflow incorporates key applications of the LaserGene Genomics Suite, including SeqMan Pro, SeqMan Engine, and ArraySTAR. We will want to create the novel SNP database when we wish to compare novel SNPs along with dbSNPs. So, we want to know which exomes have SNPs and which do not at certain locations. Sometimes when looking at the SNP table at ArraySTAR, we can see blank cells. So why don't we have a SNP in that sample? We can't make assumptions on whether we do or do not have SNPs at these positions if there are blank cells. So we want to add novel SNPs, not in the dbSNP database, to our genome template package. First, we'll open up our assembly in SeqMan Pro. For this example, we are working with an assembly of prostate cancer exomes. If we look at the SNP report by selecting SNP, SNP report, we can see that we have many different options to filter our SNPs. So in this case, we're going to want to show the coding SNPs only, and I'm going to adjust our PNOT ref score to 90 and our depth to 10. Now here we can choose to show the annotated SNPs only. These are SNPs that are already present in our SNP database. However, if we look at the novel SNPs, these are the SNPs that we are interested in adding to our novel SNP database. So we can select all of these SNPs and then choose to confirm them. We can then save these confirmed SNPs. In SeqMan Engine, we want to recalculate our verified novel SNPs. By running this assembly, we improve callings at our locations of interest, as well as improving our probability scores. First, we'll select Import BAM file, and then Recalculate SNPs. Next, we'll want to import our assembly project into the wizard, as I've already done so here. And finally, you're ready to assemble. After the assembly is completed, we can bring the SeqMan Engine assembly project into ArraySTAR. First, we'll select Start SNP Project, and then we'll add our SeqMan Engine.assembly folder. In the Setup Preprocessing step, we want to make sure that we are looking for coding regions and splice sites, and that the Custom User SNP Locations box is checked. In addition, we'll want to make sure that our filtering parameters are consistent. Select Next, and allow ArraySTAR to preprocess your SNP project. So when all of these steps are complete, you are able to see an ArraySTAR table without any of these blank cells we originally saw. We can now make SNP comparisons between the sets. To learn more, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.